whether you're using items found in your home or your favorite neighborhood thrift store. It's possible to create beautiful functional rooms throughout your home using great finds that are just perfect for you and your style. Your home is your sanctuary. It's a place where you show love for your family and friends. Today, I'm gonna to take a look at the remodel of my favorite room in my home, my kitchen. From countertops to backsplashes to kitchen cabinets, I'll share with you great design ideas and ways to save you money. Throughout each project, my friends and I will show you space planning, functional organizing, and creative solutions for any project. Together, we'll show you how to turn your house into a home. But first, we had to make a plan. Begin your project with exactly what you want in mind. A project vision board is a great way to organize your thoughts, display your choices, compare styles and textures. To create my vision board, I looked through lots of kitchen and home magazines to find the style that I love. You want to find rooms that really jump out at you. Whatever you get really excited about, that's what you want on your vision board. This will determine your unique style. As you can see, I like light cabinets, glass doors, sort of a rustic look, um, sort of French country. I'd also like to have a wolf or Viking stove. It's probably not in my budget, but it's my vision board, so it's gonna go on there. Next, you wanna make a list of your family's needs. Large island, double oven, large sink, professional range, glass doors, hanging pots, rack, um, table for six, oh, and a French door refrigerator. And then you put that list, you wanna put that list right on the board. And there you have your vision board. Your vision board should be whatever your grandest idea of what you want, no matter what you think the cost is. Now you do want to have a budget, but at this stage, you don't want anything to interfere with your vision. There's always a way to get the look and feel of what you want and still stay within your budget. But think of the biggest, grandest idea first. Now that you have your completed vision board, you can take your project to the next step. You can hire a designer at this point or talk to a contractor who can help you with your project. Also, there are lots of resources and computer graphic programs that can help you in designing your space. This is what my kitchen looked like before. Standard white cabinets, Formica countertops, 20-year-old white appliances, and a small electric stove that didn't work well for the chef I tried to be. So I was ready for a change. I used a 3D program to build the kitchen I wanted so I could see what the different countertops, floors, wall color, and everything would look like when the project is completed. This really inspired me and helped me to decide on exactly what I wanted. Now this is what I want my kitchen to look like. Next, I took my plans to a big home store where there was a designer who could tell me exactly what my plans would cost. She said this was a $40,000 kitchen, but I told her my budget was $20,000. After working with her, together we found ways to cut back on the cost but still keep the same look and quality I wanted. Here are a few of the ways I saved. I got high quality maple cabinets, but I chose a simpler style. I found a great range. It had all the BTUs and everything I wanted from the Wolf or Viking, but for one third the price, and it looks beautiful. And I got great deals on all my appliances for getting most of them all at the same store. 
With cuts here and there, great deals, and smart decisions, I was actually able to get this kitchen for half the price. And it has everything I wanted. There's one thing I really love and that's fresh, beautiful flowers. No matter who they come from, they really brighten my day. So to keep them around longer, I dry flowers to create fresh, beautiful displays to arrange throughout my home. And you can too. There are a couple ways I use to dry flowers. One is by taking fresh flowers and tying with a organic string and hang it upside down in a cool, dry place for about a month. Hardier flowers like hydrangea dry just beautifully in a pot or in the ground. Another way I use to dry flowers, a very quick and easy way, is by using kitty litter. Just pour a small layer of kitty litter in a deep microwave safe bowl. And for this, I cut flowers pretty low. You can only microwave with a certain area. I like to turn the roses upside down because it, it dries a lot better and I could create a, a better looking rose. And then you completely cover the flowers with kitty litter. You're gonna put it in a microwave for about three minutes per flower. And when it comes out, you have to make sure you have gloves and tongs because the kitty litter will be extremely hot. It could really burn your hands. So when they come out, what I use is wire stem and I put it through the, the head of the rose. Um, what I also like to do, sometimes it closes up a little bit. I, I use tweezers to sort of open it up and arrange it. Here are some of the beautiful flowers that I just microwaved. So let's make our floral arrangements. After your flowers are completely dry, you can make a beautiful arrangement to complement the color scheme of any room. Countertops, you visited every store and looked at hundreds of styles and colors. Today's products can not only be beautiful, but made of environmentally friendly or recycled materials, such as glass, stainless steel, and wood. When a choice is made, remember to consider function, your family's lifestyle, and most definitely, your personal favorite. I chose granite because it looks beautiful, it's durable, and it adds value to our home. Just remember that materials like granite can be on the higher end of your price range and they require some special care. When cleaning your granite countertops, you can create a solution of alcohol, water, and dish soap to clean, freshen, and protect your surface. Mix one half cup of rubbing alcohol with six drops of dish soap. You can also add five drops of essential oils to help mask the alcohol scent. Add the mixture to two cups of water into a bottle with a spray nozzle. Use a white cotton cloth. Spray the solution in a small section of the countertop and wipe Continue until you have beautiful countertops throughout your kitchen. The best thing about this solution is, not only does it clean granite and marble, but it also cleans glass and stainless steel beautifully. So it works as a great all-purpose cleaner for just a few cents a bottle. The architectural style of your home, such as Spanish, modern, bungalow, or craftsman, 
can help you decide what type and color of cabinets to choose for your kitchen. Unless you have a custom built home where you had some choice of your style of cabinets, you most likely have builder's choice cabinets that were chosen for cost, not for function or design. When working with my designer at the home store, I picked out beautiful Thomasville maple cabinets with lots of detail and an amaretto glaze. After seeing that that particular cabinet would cost me around $18,000 and would not work in my budget, this is how I cut back. I chose a Thomasville maple cabinet with a more simple style and kept the amaretto glaze so that it was close to the same look as the more expensive one. I was lucky to get the glaze for free because of the promotion that was going on at the time. Instead of Thomasville hardware, which was $28 each, I chose the home store hardware for $3 each. Instead of the Thomasville built-in bankage seating that I wanted, I used storage ottoman benches I found for $64 each. Instead of the built-in pot rack I wanted, I made my own for $20. I also made a little kitchen butler pantry by keeping one of my old kitchen cabinets and finding an old cabinet at a thrift store for $20. I painted them both using the same uh, colors as my new cabinets and the same hardware. So my kitchen cabinet selections ended up costing me around $7,000. That's over a $10,000 savings. Well, LaShawn, here's to my beautiful new kitchen and salad from my garden. Oh, these tomatoes are from your garden? But of course, but that's another show. Your house is where life happens, so make it comfortable, functional, and organized for you and your family. Make it your home.